Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fortress of Solitude. Today we're going to be checking out Darth Vader issue 39 by Greg Pak and Raphael Ienko. The Scourge comes for Vader on his home turf as the infected Zed confronts the Dark Lord. Using a separatist tri-droid it built in the Techno Union factories on Mustafar to assault Vader and his droid underlings. Lots of the issue is just pure, undulterated action, and the visual of Vader being this kind of dark knight with a spear and shield fighting a giant dragon is just so goddamn cool, it just fits his aesthetic so damn well. While Vader spends a number of pages of the issue fighting this tri-droid and kind of getting his ass handed to him, Zed ends up getting quite a substantial role as well as he battles Arax, the Jedi droid in Vader's service, and they end up having a sort of battle of philosophies, with the Scourge trying to goad Vader with the Jedi and Sith teachings that it knows, thanks to it being locked away by the Sith eons ago, and it's trying to convince him that Vader is broken thanks to having no force powers right now and broken things need to be fixed and it's fixing that only the Scourge can achieve so Vader must join with it. Of course all this does is anger Vader and in a really interesting swerve this also leads to Arex somewhat agreeing with the infected Zed and changes up how he begins to help Vader, mostly by him attacking the Dark Lord. The attacks force Vader to confront the person who he truly hates, himself, and Pak again uses the flashbacks to pivotal moments in Vader and Anakin's life to push him further into the dark side, culminating in this really awesome sequence and really well earned sequence where Vader sheds the Zali shield and his spear weapon and takes down the hulking droid with the force and his lightsaber which he hasn't been using for the last couple of issues. That's not the end of Vader's Odyssey though, as his return to the Force has given him some sort of clarity on who he actually hates, making him look even deeper than himself as the one who he truly hates to find that the Emperor is the one he hates, being that the man turned him into Vader, locked him in this iron lung of an armor and ruined his life, killed his wife, and just lied to him about being able to bring Padme back to life. This is Pak planting those seeds of doubt in Vader that we see in Return of the Jedi, and the doubt which will eventually allow Luke to help his father turn from the Emperor and ultimately kill him. There is also the promise of another confrontation with the Emperor because of this, and those which Pak has done a number of times through this series, as well as Charles Sol has done in a number of series, are always a good time, and I always love seeing them come together and be at odds with each other and how sniveling the Emperor can be in it, in that he knows it's going to happen and just lets it happen because this is something the Sith do to try and get over on each other. And I'm really looking forward to that, especially because it will also bring Palpatine into the Dark Droids event proper. We've seen him every now and then through the Dark Droids book and in the Vader book here, but this was actually going to bring him properly into the event, so I'm intrigued to see what he thinks about this Scourge invasion and what lengths he will go to stop it, or hell, maybe he'll even try and find a way to control it, much like the Sith of the Old Republic did back in the day before they had to seal it away in the Fermata Cage. Pak's continued adventures with Darth Vader and his crew have been just fantastic, with a good amount of explosive action and cool story beats that further the character's plots in cool new directions. With Vader now back in his prime with his force powers returned, I'm looking forward to him confronting Palpatine and the Scourge threat head on. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.